call it Imagineering, the blending of creative imagination with technical know-how. Art means a lot to me, something that will never be finished, something that I can keep developing. As long as there is imagination left in the world, Disneyland will never be complete. What I love about the Blue Sky process is it lets us dream. It lets us come up with wonderful new adventures to take our guests on. At Imagineering, we think big, and Disney's California Adventure is no exception. I love this. The amazing transformation of Disney's California Adventure is well underway. Every day there's progress. 
It's been so exciting to see the blue sky ideas of our Imagineers become a reality. The team is so excited to welcome our guests to come and see World of Color. It's been an exciting journey, years and years in the making. We have incredible sounds, which are like liquid paint. We have projections, we have fire, you can feel the heat of the fire. Lasers that are just state-of-the-art and incredible. World of Color has really transformed Disney's California adventure in an exciting way. It is open, it's spectacular, and you've got to come and see it. Silly Symphony Swings is really nostalgic and harkens back to the classic seaside amusement parks. Well, we really wanted to make sure that this attraction was beautiful. We chose to have all the murals hand painted. And then of course Mickey, our premier star on top, is a fun family attraction. The well, Little Mermaid attraction is, is really a kind of, a, I think it's a return to what we consider really classic Disney attractions. It's going to be a celebration, a musical celebration of a classic film that we've all been waiting to see for the last 20 years. What we're doing right now is putting all the elements of the Little Mermaid together. We're building the building that's going to house Ariel and all her friends. We've got a ride system that we're building right now. We're working on the audio animatronic figures as well as all the props and all the set pieces. Through the magic of all of our special effects, we're going to make people feel like they actually went under the water here. This is a mock-up for the Little Mermaid attraction. We're demonstrating a, an illusion of uh, taking you underwater as the vehicle goes backwards you see this water effect basically travel up the back of the vehicle. As you go backwards, you'll feel a cold air blast, so you get a chill when you penetrate the water. All of the important musical moments are there. Under the Sea is a major, major production number where you're going to actually go through the scene and participate in the big celebration. It is packed with audio animatronic characters, moving fish, dancing lobsters. Everywhere you look, there's something to see. And this is where we meet Ursula for the first time. Oh, look at Ursula. Oh, look at the lady. And she's really big. Ursula's huge, and she's going to be there in all of her glory doing her big diva number. The Little Mermaid will be a journey that is a long time coming, but you will never, ever forget. After 20 years, it'll be worth the wait. major design goals was to bring more of Walt Disney legacy to the park. That legacy begins at the main entrance. The point of Vista Street is to Disney's California Adventure what Main Street is to Disneyland. What we're trying to create here with the new entrance is the sort of lost icon of Los Angeles, things like the Pan Pacific Theater or the Carthay Circle Theater, which was where Snow White premiered in 1937. When guests come into Buena Vista Street, the idea is to give them the comfort and the warmth of Los Angeles Street during that time period. The red car trolley is a representation of the red cars that used to run through the greater Los Angeles area. This is the only place in the world where you'll be able to not only ride, but see these cars in action with the buildings that were around them at the time that really made them what they were. When we first came up with the idea of Cars Land, we presented it to John Lasseter at Pixar, and the first thing he said was, you have to go on Route 66, so we did. There were 10 of us that went to get the feel of what it's like to be in these little towns. The signs, the graphics, the paint jobs, just the personality that all these individual proprietors give their shops, we wanted to do the same thing for ours. We're gonna put you in the middle of this really fantastic movie, a movie that's full of so many characters that every kid loves, every person loves. Mater's Junkyard Jamboree and Luigi's Flying Tires are new attractions that are innovative and very unique. Luigi's Flying Tires was inspired by the Disneyland Flying Saucers, which existed in the early 1960s. We 
basically tried to plus it up and to make it even more fun than it was back then. When you go into Cars Land, straight ahead is the rock work and the mountains of Ornament Valley, and that is the home of Radiator Springs Racers. Radiator Springs Racers is our next offering in the long Disney tradition of large-scale immersive family attractions. We're going to use the test track technology because it allows you to sit in a real car, hit the road, and speed. It's going to be huge in scale and huge in fun. Thank you.